Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Angela. My Islamic name is Malak. Um, I'm here in Bahrain to work because uh, actually this is my escape because uh, I've been through um, hardships in the Philippines and um, I, I wanted to heal myself alone. So that's why I plan to come here and work away from my family so I can be whole again and I don't want to see them uh, the devastation that I'm going through because of a broken marriage so uh, when I first came here it's a bit uh, of a struggle for me because I really don't know how to cope up with a, a new culture and uh, uh, Muslim people because this is an Islamic um, country and uh, it's very difficult first at first so um, with, with, with my uh, uh, with my continuous like searching of uh, information about the Muslim peoples we got into an accident and uh, during that accident two Muslim people were lying lifeless on the road so that's the first time that I prayed to Allah I said Allah give life to these two people and I swear I submit to you because with all through the hardship and devastation that I've uh, gone through, I lost my faith in him. So before my grip is like this, but I see myself just hanging pinky finger there. So uh, with that, uh, with that uh, being said, I actually search for people who can help me. Uh, how can I know more about um, Islam? And I've come across with uh, I. Um, I happened to contact uh, Discovery Islam, and that's when my journey started. So when I, uh, I, I send a message to um, Brother Hasher, which happens to be the leader or the um, director of the Discovery Slam, the day after, uh, one, one Filipino brother called me and um, she did the uh, dawah for me. And then during the dawah process, I started crying because the, the, the intention that I have is to learn first before embracing. But right after he did the dawa, uh, all throughout the process I'm crying and they just, I just said yes. Okay, I wanted to be Muslim. And we made, same day, we made the shahad. The challenge for me is, I really don't know anything about it. So Discovery Islam is really a great help for me to know more. And also with the, with the I was shattered. So I, as I have said, this is my escape, going here in Bahrain. I want to heal myself alone. So I, I lost my trust, I lost my faith, I lost everything. So the decision, uh, the decision that I made to embrace Islam is that, what if he's calling me, and this is, this is the reason why I'm here in Bahrain. I, I didn't only apply for Bahrain itself. I applied for other countries, but why here? but why in an Islamic country? So uh, I, I just uh, accepted it. I accepted it, like submit to him. If you want me to heal, then if this is your way, then so be it. So that's, that's when my journey started.
um, most of my time, uh, they, they have provided me with a teacher. So right after the Shahada, they provided me with a teacher, with books that I can read, with uh, some sample videos that I can watch over the internet. There's a lot. Okay? So I make, I make it a point that I will be able to watch at least one video about Islam and also read one book about Islam because I want to uh, find a way for Islam to change me, to return me back to how faithful I am with Allah. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. I'm loving my life right now with Islam. Well, four years ago, the, the person that I am, don't trust anyone. Don't trust God, don't trust the family, don't trust friends. So I really, I really don't see anyone, I, I don't really trust anyone anymore, even myself. So now, Alhamdulillah, I'm trusting everyone. So I'm not afraid of my decisions anymore or of, of what will be uh, my future and what will, be, what will happen tomorrow. Because I know that Allah will guide me. And that's what's been, what, that's what He's been doing to my life right now. So every decision that I made, I'm not only thinking that maybe something will went, will went wrong or something will happen wrong like that, but I submit everything to Him. So I always ask Him, uh, Ya Allah, if this is for me, then so be it. And I really trust Him right now more than everything. So, and, and before, um, I I really don't care what uh, people said, but now I more I actually care more about what I said to people, because I don't want to hurt them, which is the teaching of Islam. Also, before um, I get so angry, very like angry with people so much, so I really yell at you like that. But now I feel I feel like I have to be peace. I always have to offer peace to my brothers and sisters and my friends and families like that. And I love my parents so much right now. So my main goal is like to um, erase the previous Angela or the previous self and make it more good this time. Uh, my parents actually are very supportive all throughout. So the moment that I told them that I, I became a Muslim, if this will help you heal yourself, then without objection, you can do it. So it's up to you. You're a grown woman. You already have your family. Just don't change the daughter that we have. That's it. And then uh, my first Ramadan, the first two weeks of my Ramadan is with them. They see me pray. Um, my mother always make it a point that I have fo food for iftar. So he, she, she found me very strong. And then she told me that it, that's not very easy. And uh, she, they, they praise me so much. Even my Baba sometimes um, tell me, Assalamu alaikum. So that's it. They're very happy with it. I'm practicing more on uh, dealing with people, okay? Because uh, as much as possible, I don't want to say anything bad to other people. That's my number one. Second one, of course, is the fasting. And also, 
Um, I'm starting to collect some articles that I can read during Ramadan and also the Quran. That's it. And uh, also I wanted to um, share also some um, articles to my friends just to tell them how beautiful Islam is. So at least I'm um, reaching out to my non-Muslim friend, uh, friends about Islam, like teaching them anything that I can teach them. To all of my uh, friends, relatives, that uh, because most of uh, the people I know, uh, they 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 are hearing uh, the the image of a Muslim for them is not that good. Okay, so it's it's actually not in my country, but anywhere else. So I just wanted to tell them that if you're confused and you want to know Islam. If your heart says you want to know Islam, then know it, okay? No one will hinder your decision but yourself. You, you don't know when Allah will call you, okay? If you're losing trust and if you're, um, if you're in that virtual time that you're, that you're lost and you don't know what to do and what's your plan with your future, you just have to pray and there is Allah waiting for you. Islam is very beautiful. It will change you a lot for the good, and I guarantee. So if you're lost and if you wanted some answers with your question, try Islam, and I'll help you with it. I'll be your friend, I'll be your sister, I'll be your daughter. That's it. I will just tell you that question. To all those people who was lost, shattered, and went through devastation, um, always remember that don't always think about your mistakes and uh, your failures and your pain as bad. It's actually a way of uh, Allah reaching out to you. So con consider talking to Him. Don't lose your faith with Him. And maybe it's just knocking at your door. Just open up and don't be afraid of what the future will bring to you. See, I'm, I'm emotional. This is, this is how I feel when I first uh, did the Shahada. So, um, I just wanted you to be strong, have trust in Allah, and never, ever lose your faith. So if you're lost, just Try Islam.